Hey, on this video, we're going to be connecting WD, my cloud, EX2, to a computer, which is Windows based. You can do the same thing with uh, WDPR models, uh, but um, I'm going to be doing this on WD, my cloud. So the first thing what we will need to do is uh, connect to the um, thing called the WD. So what we need to do is go to uh, mycloud.com. Uh, that's how you can log in and then um, if you go to settings you should be able to get into an admin uh, side of things so you go to configure proceed I'm already in uh, let's log in so you use the name and password to do that it's a different password than uh, you, you find one on, on my cloud so usually these are two different things one is for admin and one is for a cloud account so once you're in you're gonna go to settings because by default, we're likely that your network um, connection is based on DHCP, which means <coughs> automated IP address. So your router, your broadband router, is just sending IP down to your NAS, and this is what you get. Um, you can you will need to set this uh, as static. So go to static. We can you can keep the IP you get already, hoping that uh, no no other device will. Uh, go for this IP, but if you want to be on the safe side, if you haven't set any uh, manual IPs before to other devices <clears throat> and you know it's uh, clean, you can just do 195 for example. That would be identificator for your NAS, how to find it, how to connect. Um, you can go up to 255, that's the maximum number you can go for, or well, definitely it should be either the same number you got already or something uh, above 100 to be on the safe side. So once you have done that, you can keep the subnet mask uh, and the gateway. These are the things that will need to match on other network devices <clears throat> in your home. Um, so gateway, that means just um, router, IP address, and mask is mask. So click next, and then it's gonna ask you, click the switch button to turn off on off VLAN settings. Each VLAN requires an ID. Enter the number associated with the VLAN. I think, we don't need anything to do with virtual LAN, so we just move on. Next, uh, apply and save. So what we got is 97. It's better if you write it down because you will need that IP address to connect um, to connect up from your PC, for example, when you're going to link it. So what we do now, we gonna uh, connect a NAS with a cable to your PC or your laptop. If your laptop doesn't have a um, LAN port, then you can get a USB adapter, something like this. You can see that um, it comes with a, a LAN port uh, included in this adapter. <clears throat> you can have um, other ports as well if you want to, but this is what we will need to use. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna pause video, I'm gonna connect NAS to my PC and uh, set things up uh, from that point on. So I'm pausing video now. Okay, now we have connected um, NAS, WD NAS to a PC. And now we need to configure uh, things on the PC side. So uh, things to keep in mind, if you've got um, only one LAN port on your PC, so probably you're using this uh, LAN port to connect to your um, um, WD NAS. Uh, in this case, you will need to set it up uh, with a manual IP. If you use that uh, dedicated adapter to get LAN port, you also need to make sure that IP is uh, static. Unless you have already st uh, static IP, then you don't need to do that. But um, what you need to do is go to LAN settings, uh, right click um, open network settings, then go to uh, Ethernet and change adapter options, then go to your um, whichever LAN connection you had there, maybe you have only one, <clears throat> whichever you're using, do properties, IPv4 properties, and then make sure that you change from automatic to static if you don't have, you have, haven't done this already. So uh, on a NAS we said it was 10.04.97, so on a PC you could set uh, something ending with 98, need to be different, or anything up to 225 at the end. Make sure subnet mask is the same, gateway is the same, and uh, click OK. That, that, that's that. It's going to re-identify the connection, 
and once that is uh, finished you should be able to see your uh, NAS actually already on, uh, on my computer um, if you do refresh it should come up um, as a WD NAS if it doesn't you can always go to a uh, website where is a NAS hit enter to reload it there we go have the password login and you're in the inside NAS now you can double check the IP address that is static now uh, it doesn't show now because it's loading but um, the IP is static and uh, see as you see 97 and you, you should be able from this point already to use your NAS uh, connected directly why would you want to do that uh, is for several reasons if you're not feeling safe that someone could actually break into your NAS so you want to keep it um, secure and connect only directly um, the other option would be if you want to offload some data to a NAS already initially before you take it away and use it as um, our sync server as a synchronized uh, server so first of all you're gonna put those terabytes of data there and then do synchronization which is just a few maybe gigabytes to be synchronized that's um, another option why would you want to do that um, I hope this was helpful if you have any questions you can always go to Anas Compares and uh, fill the form send email to info Anas Compares and the question will be interesting we're gonna shoot video like this and help others as well um, and just one more thing before we go I'll show you how to map a drive click map type in the IP address which you got manually and click finish and that's it you're inside your NAS connected directly cheerio